Well, you've only got another 50 years or so to go, and it'll all be over. I need someone who doesn't speak English. <laughs> yeah, how about a mute? <laughs> what gives you pleasure? Listening to you. I listen to this for 15 minutes, I'm on top of the world. Your misery is my pleasure. Hey, boys. You get this idea. Last time I had lunch with you here. You were going on and on and on about how you wanted to meet somebody who didn't speak English. What, are you breaking in with her, then you try it out on me? Nah, it's not for me. Jerry, if anybody should be doing this, it's you. What kind of a person are you? I think I'm pretty much like you. Only successful. George and I just signed up with the Senior Citizens Volunteer Agency. Same thing Elaine's doing. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I don't say I didn't try to warn you. What are you talking about? Oh, Jerry, I'm surprised at you. What? It's a con. These agencies are usually a front for some money laundering scheme or they're bunko artists, bilking people out of their life savings. Oh, yeah. Got the records? Well, yeah. What records? Uh, well, uh, Newman and I are going partners selling used records. <laughs> <laughs> Records down on Bleecker? They pay big cash for used records. Yeah, so we thought if you had any of those big, you know, old-fashioned, useless records just, you know, you know lying around. You, you know, take you... them off your hands yeah. free of charge. Let me ask you. I'm a United States postal worker. <laughs> Aren't those the guys that always go crazy and come back with a gun and shoot everybody? Sometimes. <laughs> Why is that? Because the mail never stops. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. There's never a let up. It's relentless. Every day it piles up more and more and more. And you've got to get it up. And the more you get out, the more it keeps coming in. And then the barcode reader breaks. And it publishes clearinghouse. Dead. All right, all right. You throwing this out? I believe that's what you do with garbage, you idiot. <laughs> you don't want any of this? Well, if I wanted it, I wouldn't be throwing it away, would I, Einstein? You know, I have some friends that would really love to have these. I'll take it. I sure as hell not going to give it to my family. Well, uh, do, do you want to go out and go for a walk, get a cup of coffee? With you? I'd rather be dead. <laughs> well, maybe I'll get going, then. I just remember I got an appointment to get my uh, tonsils out. Good! Thank God! Good riddance! Oh, listen, uh, before you go, would you mind changing my diaper? Ah! Take it to your dentist, Mr. Fields. Where's your dentist? Downtown! All right, George Kramer, look after Mr. Fields. I'll go get the cab. Bunch of moron. <laughs> 20 bucks, you out of your mind? Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. We got Al Jolson here. Al Jolson. Al Jolson. What the hell do I care about Al Jolson? I just soon hear you sing, Mammy. <laughs> this guy is nothing but a piece of crap. You are nothing but a piece of crap. A piece of crap. A piece of crap. I find you extremely ugly. I find you extremely ugly. Do you? You admit a foul and unpleasant odor. You admit... A foul and unpleasant odor. Oh, is that right? I loathe you. I loathe you. That's it. Get out of my store. Make us. Make us. Make us. I'll make you. Wait a minute.